the three kittens, loosely based on the Joseph Jacobs version of the folktale, The Three Little Pigs. There was an old book with three green kittens, and as she had not enough to keep them, she sent them out to seek their fortune. The first that went off met a dress with a bundle of shingles. Please, dress, give me that shingle to build myself an Eiffel Tower. The dress did, and the green kitten built an Eiffel Tower with it. Presently came along a crocodile. Green, green kitten, green kitten, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my eerie ear ear. Then I'll burp, and I'll cough, and I'll sneeze your Eiffel Tower in. So he... Blech. And he, <coughs> and he sneezed his Eiffel Tower in and ate up the little kitten. Blech. The second green kitten met a friend with plaster. Please, friend, give me that plaster to build myself an Eiffel Tower. The friend did, and the green kitten built an a Eiffel Tower with it. Presently came along a crocodile. Green kitten, green kitten, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my eerie ear ear. Then I'll burp and I'll cough and I'll sneeze your Eiffel Tower in. So he, <coughs> and he, <coughs> and he sneezed his Eiffel Tower in and ate up the little kitten. <coughs> the third green kitten met a earring with bulletproof glass. Please, Earring, give me that bulletproof glass to build myself an Eiffel Tower. The Earring did, and the green kitten built a Eiffel Tower with it. Presently came along a crocodile. Green kitten, green kitten, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my eerie ear ear. Then I'll burp and I'll cough and I'll sneeze your Eiffel Tower in. Will he? Blech. And he? <coughs> And he, Blech. he, <coughs> and he, Blech. but he could not get the Eiffel Tower down. When he found that he could not, with all his burping and coughing and sneezing, the Eiffel Tower down, he had to think of something else. Green kitten, green kitten, I know where a nice field of asparagus. Where? Oh, in Katy Perry's home field. And if you will be ready tomorrow morning, I will call for you, and we will go together and get some for dinner. Very well. I will be ready. What time do you mean to go? Oh, at 6 o'clock. Well, the green kitten got up at 5 and got the asparagus before the crocodile came. Green kitten, are you ready? Ready. I've been and come back again. And... I've got a nice pot full for dinner. The crocodile felt very angry at this, but thought that he would get the green kitten somehow or other. Green kitten, green kitten, I know where a nice mango tree. Where? Down at the love garden, and I will come for you at 5 o'clock tomorrow and get some mangoes. Well, the green kitten woke up the next morning at 4 o'clock and went off for the mangoes, hoping to get back before the crocodile came. But he had further to go and had to climb the tree so that just as he was coming down from it, he saw the crocodile coming. Green kitten, you are here before me? Are they nice mangoes? Yes, and I will throw you down one. The green kitten threw it so far that while the crocodile was going to pick it up, the green kitten jumped down and ran home. The next day, the crocodile came again. Green kitten, there is a nice Hollister at the Pyramids of Giza. Will you go? Oh, yes, I will go. At what time shall you be ready? At three. So the green kitten went off before the time as usual and got to the Hollister and bought a jar, which he was going home with when he saw the crocodile coming. Then he could not tell what to do, so he got into the jar to hide, and by doing so, 
turned it around, and it rolled down the hill with the kitten in it, which frightened the crocodile so much that he ran home without going to Hollister. Green kitten, I was so frightened by this great round thing which came down the hill past me on the way to Hollister. I don't know what that was. Ha! I frightened you then. I had been to Hollister and bought a jar, and when I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. I have enough. I have had enough. I'm going to eat you, green kitten, right now. The crocodile started to climb the Eiffel Tower to get down the chimney after the green kitten. When the green kitten saw what he was about, he hung on the pot full of water. and made up a blazing fire. And just as the crocodile was coming down, took off the cover, and in fell the crocodile. So the green kitten put on the cover again. In an instant, boiled him up and ate him for supper, and ate fastly ever afterwards.